Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Today's workout is going to be a bar to remember. I want you to, to really focus and think about someone that you have lost, that you cared and loved. And I want you to be with yourself and just remember moments that you shared with them and be with that. I'm gonna think of my mom and all you will need today is yourself, a set of dumbbells and something to use as your guide. I will not count every rep I'm gonna do. I will tell you how many reps with each exercise and probably just count the last couple because I want this to be a really quiet, still, focused, emotional workout. And here we go. So we're gonna start in releve, which means tippy toe. Right foot is gonna be in front of your left. Pretend you're on a balance beam. Also, remember, this is just a guide. Both knees are bent. We're gonna go up, hold, for 30, starting now, that's one. Staying in your tuck, which means heavy tailbone. Pausing on the lift. Here is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Both feet are gonna drop down to flat. You're still gonna have your left, your right foot placed where it is. You're gonna raise your left leg up and point and come down with a flexed foot. Don't let your foot touch the mat, pausing for a lift on the up. So we are Focusing on our hip flexor, left leg is also very tight. Two more from here. Stay up, up hold for 20. There's 10, make sure there's a slight bend in your right knee. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Left leg's gonna come down. Now the left foot's in front. Getting back in your tuck. Up hold for 30. Core is tight, shoulders and chest are back and up. There's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Both feet come down, left foot stays put, right leg lifts. Remember you're pointing and then you're coming down with a flexed foot. Three more, make sure that right leg is tight. We're gonna stay up here for, for 20. Pointed toe, tight right leg. 10. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 20. Drop your right leg down. Have your feet as wide as your mat in releve. And my mat is red today. That was my mother's favorite color. We're gonna stay up. Little bend in both knees, so you're not going down too deep. It's gonna be up, hold, really getting into your tuck. From here, starting now 30, this is one. Pausing on the lift, being present within yourself.
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Left foot's gonna be in relevé. Drop to your right foot down, up hold for 20. Your feet are still as wide as your mat, staying in your tuck. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Left foot flat, right foot relevé. Twenty more. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Walk both feet in. You're going to have your heels kiss together. Up hold, we're gonna stay up really high so the, bent, the knees are barely bent. Straight back, staying in your tuck, shoulders back, up hold for 30. This is one. Pausing on the up. Really feeling it in my outer hips, my glutes up by my hip flexors. Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Drop both feet down. We're gonna. We've done a lot of inner thigh and glute work so far. We're gonna actually work on our quads now. So have your feet six inches apart, dropping into the tuck, shoulders and chest back and up. Up hold for thirty. Starting now. This is one. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Knees stay bent. You're gonna drop your heels. Go back up into relevé. Make sure you're staying in your tuck. Fifteen from here. This is one. Your hip points are facing whatever you're working with. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Arms are going to be really long. You're going to be looking down on your mat. I'm going to have my palms actually on top of my stool, the back of my stool chair. Right foot on the mat. Make sure you have a slight bend in that right knee. Like I said, arms are long. You're going to open up the left hip. Flex your left toes and foot. I shouldn't say toes. It should be foot. Anyway, arms are long, neutral neck, up hold here. Focus on getting that leg up and you wanna be able to control the leg so it's an inch up and an inch down. From here, we're gonna do 30. There's one. Slow and little.
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Slowly bring the left leg down. Other side, left foot down. Make sure there's a slight bend in that left knee, opening up the right hip. 30 lifts. And here we go. One. Twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Slowly bring the right leg down. Hip points are going to be square to the chair. We're going to have pointed toes and feet. Right foot down, still long arms looking down. Hip point, left hip point is going to be facing my mat. We're going to start somewhat low. My toes are about six inches off of the mat. Up hold for 30. Tight left leg. There's one. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Supporting leg, glute, yikes. Other side, right hip point is square to your mat, six inches away from the mat with your right toes and lift for thirty. One. Twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 30. Right foot down. Bending the left knee generously. Foot is flexed. Up hold. Left hip point is still square to the mat for 31. Little movements. Really gets the left glute and hamstring. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Slowly bring the leg down. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there are birds in the background, or outside, not background, singing about, because the sun is out and it's getting warmer where I live. Same thing, up hold, make sure the right hip point is square to the mat for 30, one. Twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna bring my stool more on my mat. I'm gonna face you guys. Hello. I'm really being very. I'm, I try to do my best every day to be present within myself, but. Just due to the whole title of this workout, remembering, remember, remembrance, however the way you want to look at it, knee to elbow. Um, I'm present with all of you, but I'm also just thinking of 
moments in my life with people that I've lost and being with that. And behind me, if you can see on the windowsill, right here and over here there's a vase, it's filled with beach glass. Some of you guys might not know what that is, but beach glass, for you who don't know, lakes, oceans, people throw, you know, trash and maybe bottles off of a boat. And over time, the waves and the hitting the bottom of the ocean floor or the lake floor, the sand, it gets distressed. And by the time it gets to shore, sometimes it's still not ready to pick up. It could still be sharp. But I've been collecting it forever since I was a little girl. And it's something that my mom didn't always do. In the last probably 10 years, I said, Mom, just do it. Just go. And there's nothing like connecting with nature. So that's what is in the, and that's something that my mom collected. And um, it, it holds a very special place in my heart. So I just wanted to share that with you. Comment below if you guys know what beach glass is. I'd love that. Oh, <laughs> it excites me so much. I have a, actually an Instagram page that I have some of my favorite, favorite beach glass on. It's called Amy's Beach Gems, G-E-M-S. So now you're gonna be hip square and you're gonna be coming this way. Do your best to not drop your chest. Supporting a leg glute, which is right, really feels it. Core is tight. Six more from here. One more. Nice other side. Arm up. Do your best to get your knee to your elbow. Also, make sure your core is really engaged. You can really feel this in your right obliques. Just pay attention what you're feeling. Five more. One more. Hips facing you. Remember, do your best to not drop your chest. Engage in your core. Six more. One. One, beautiful. Now it's time for dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, like I say in a lot of my videos, is use your body weight. And what I mean by that is just tightening up, flexing the arms. Okay, toes angled out. Get in your tuck, please, which is heavy tailbone. Thumbs are gonna be up on your weights. You're going to make a big circle. Warming up the arms. Making a big rainbow. And I don't know about any of you, if you get signs of someone that has passed, but I had never seen the most beautiful rainbow until couple days before my mom passed and it was a double rainbow and it actually I took photos of it of course it was I could see it from ground to the other ground of wherever that was and 
it was stunning and it doesn't even look real. So anytime I see a rainbow, I think of my mom, of course. Angle the arms out, pausing on the lift, putting resistance into my arms. I'm not just lifting my weight. So please tighten the arms before the dumbbells even go up. All right, we're gonna isolate shoulder presses. Uphold, really tight arms. Remember, staying in our tuck for 20. This is one. Ten. Dropping the arms, but not the elbows, and then coming up with an uphold. Four, ten. Slow. There's two. Six. And heel toe, heel toe, beautiful. Shake out the arms. Triceps, zip up the legs, feet together. We're gonna actually angle out our arms, like have a V shaped with your arms on the lift. Neutral neck, tight arms from the get go. Pausing on the lift. We're gonna do 10 of these starting now. This is one. Squeezing my shoulder blades together so you get it in your traps and upper back. Nine, ten. Now the arms are going to be really tight by our sides, and we're going to isolate. We're going to go up for forty. Little, um, little tiny bend. We're going to do a bend and then tighten the arms. But the arms are going to stay up really high, or as high as you feel that you can keep them up there and be comfortable. We're going to do forty of those. So neutral neck. But also put the weight in your glutes and your heels. And here we go. Remember, if you're not shaking, you're not shaping. All right, ready, lift. 40, this is one. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Nice. Biceps. Right foot down, slight bend. Okay, this is what we're it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a we're gonna be wobbly on this, but remember we can do hard things. So instead of your leg being out here, have it in alignment. Once again, like you're on a balance beam, okay? Getting in our tucks, biceps, palms are gonna be facing up to your ceiling. Make sure on your right foot that the weight is evenly distributed because that's where you'll get yourself in trouble. Okay, up hold with your, with your weights for 30. One, not dropping your elbows. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 
30, switch sides, or switch legs, I should say. It's trickier than it looks, for sure. Okay, 30 more, getting in our tucks, and 30 bicep curls, one. slowly bring the arms down front of the shoulder feet hip width apart <sighs> raising up we're gonna do five and then we're gonna isolate for 50 remember tight arms okay we're staying up right here uphold for 50 one Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Slowly bring your arms down, put your weights aside. We're gonna go onto our bums. <laughs> I just thought of something really funny. So, <laughs> my mom, when I used to teach classes before COVID for 12 years, my mom would come to a lot of my classes and she hated doing core. So guess what, mom, this is for you. I wasn't gonna get on the mat. I was just gonna do everything standing up, but I, it popped into my head. So here we go, can't neglect the core. Heels as close to your bum as you can. We're gonna finish the next two and a half minutes. I don't know how many reps that's gonna be, but both of our, have both of your shoulder blades up off the mat. Our elbows are going to look like this and we are just gonna crunch for the next two and a half minutes, okay? Be with yourself, be with your emotions and really focus on your core, okay? Give your tummy some loving. All right, here we go and lift. Thirty more seconds. Stretch, palms up. Thank you all who showed up today. And underneath um, the video, you'll, there's an area to comment. Please comment and share with me some beautiful, fond memories if you have of someone that you've lost. 
And remember the light starts within. If you're shining within, you'll make a difference within yourself and the world. And please have a wonderful self-care day. And thanks for, like I said, showing up today. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.